My name is Paul Luna, and you're tuned into FMB Lunacy. I am here today with Chef David Sweeney. Chef, tell us about yourself. What are you doing? What are you working on? Right now in Atlanta, I'm working Freedom Farmers Market every Saturday and uh, have been for a year, approaching a year now. Um, before that, I was at Grant Park Farmers Market, uh, started a, and I did this uh, probably five years ago, was working on an energy bar, a CD bar, but it's developed into something much different than what I started with then. And, uh, and uh, I'm happy with it now. I think my customers are happy with it. And uh, so I'm able to sell it through these farmer markets. You know, Atlanta has amazing farmer's markets. Um, all of them are. And, and uh, when COVID arrived last year, um, I thought it would be useful to people. And I felt a little, uh, calling and uh, to, to provide food. Um, and so I started a little food service with my CD bar business. It's a CD bar that I'm making. Um, <laughs> the, pun, the pun wasn't intended, but I just, I'm gonna roll with it. Um, and, uh, and probably have fun rolling with it, I think. Uh, but uh, so I've, I've done a little food service this past year. Sorry to get off track there. Um, and I'll run it through the end of this year. It's been a very nice way for me to interact with old customers that I that are customers that I've had uh, since uh, the restaurant that I had here that you know of. Um, and uh, I've had very faithful customers the whole time here in Atlanta. So it makes me very grateful, very grateful to see them, very grateful to offer them a service uh, and offering them food. Um, and I'm, I'm happy this year actually to, to have my hands back in food this way uh, because it's uh, brought me back to an initial mission that I had for myself when I came to this city. I'm not living in this in Atlanta anymore, which I can tell you about later, but um, yeah, so this, this past year, the growth for myself in the kitchen, with the food, with the, 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 uh, the thoughts I've always had about food and cooking um, came, rose within me. And uh, I, I wasn't feeling that way for a long time. So I was very happy that for myself that uh, I, I was feeling my roots or feeling my oats, whatever you say, um, you know, getting into my groove in the kitchen and with food and, um, and offering it to people in the way that I intended when I entered the food and beverage industry. Why did you become a chef? Uh, because I wanted people to know that um, eating healthy food will make them feel good and, and all the other things that are attached to that. They'll be more connected to the earth. They'll be more connected to nature. They'll be more connected to the seasons um, and they will strengthen their immune system and be strong and healthy. It's what food is there for and they can have pleasures with it as well in eating, but um, mainly to, to make people understand um, or help people understand uh, how, how healthy food can be for you and, and, and and how it can make you feel, not just physically either. For me, my mental health is affected by food as well. I know how I feel when I've eaten a warm, uh, freshly prepared meal and what that does for me, not just my body, but it, you know, it, uh, it also oils my brain. And uh, yeah, I think, a lot, I think there's a, a lot of, like I was about to say lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> sorry. But there are some <laughs> um, you know crime crime statistics if you look at them people who go nuts they really haven't eaten that well so um, <laughs> in most cases fill in the blank cooking is 
wonderful. A gift, a pleasure. Is there a food related product you eat that is embarrassing? Um, well, it's not embarrassing, but um, uh, there is this cracker in, in the US that uh, has been around since my childhood. It's a cheese cracker called a cheese it And um, they, you know, the cheese it has been the cheese it for probably 15 years. I should look it up, but it's been around like there's cheese it's everywhere. So there's cheese it's in gas stations too, right? And it's uh, in, in a foil wrapper. It's like clean cheese it's are pretty safe on the road if you have nothing else on you. Um, I generally have food on me, but when I saw those snapped cheese it sour cream crackers uh, at the um, racetrack gas station, um, I tried them once and I decided they really weren't that bad. Yeah, in that moment. Later, I was like, no, but I will still grab them every now and then. David, if I'm not mistaken, aren't you doing crackers right now? I am. So um, I'm trying to find a solution. This is one reason probably why I try and enjoy, like, I don't know that I'll arrive at the perfection of that little, no, the cheese, it's not that, that, that uh, I'm not going to go on about that anymore. But um, yeah, I think to understand what other people are eating, sometimes you have to try those things. I am making raw crackers right now. And, uh, and uh, they're with sprouted sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and then ground raw kale. Um, there's some flaxseed in there as well. And I kind of consider them a salad on the go. It's considered a raw item. We make them in the dehydrator. Um, and uh, I, I started to make them for myself and realized, because I've made or said before, like you can get really bitchy if you don't have something green every day. Like we should all have like a daily green. Um, back to Loon crazy lunatics um <laughs> maybe so, that should so right like how how do you find greens when you're not in a restaurant when you're not at home uh, when you have to travel or in a car all these all these ways and that's i think one reason why probably food scientists made uh these kind of things for the astronauts to to go to the moon which we don't have to do that. We can probably, we can all really get a salad every day if we if we wanted to. Every we could, we could. It could be possible that everyone has a green every day, a fresh one. Um, but on the go, a kale cracker might be a good solution, or can be a good solution, just to have something green and uh, and and semi fresh, really. What do you think of the name Bitchy Green? Bitchy greens? <laughs> bitchy greens. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me from being bitchy greens, yeah. <laughs> what do you enjoy doing when you're not working? <clears throat> uh, right now, hiking. And, you know, I always love going to a, a thrift store, which I haven't been able to do in the past year. Is there anything in particular that turns you on about food and cooking? While you're eating, before you're even tasting the food or while you're tasting the food, knowing that uh, that food is going to be good for you uh, and feeling that it's going to be good for you, what are you left with in the sense of what food does for one? And you can get that as a sensation in your body um, without your sense of taste and your sense of smell. Chef, what's important, taste or food presentation? Taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what type of music do you enjoy listening to? when you're not at work or just relaxing? Right now, 70s rock. Yeah. So, I, uh, Steely Dan. What's important in your life at this moment? My family. 
uh, my sister, my brother-in-law, my nieces, um, my aunt, my aunts, all of my family. Um, just their wellness and their well-being and all of this right now. Yeah. In the US, what's like what with the year that we've gone through and um, the layers of the effects that's had on people and families. Is there anything you would like to say that's important to you that we have not spoken about? So I have so many thoughts on the future of the fish industry and the food and beverage industry, fish being served, the way it's been done for so long, like fast food of fish in, in the form of sushi. And um, fish piracy, overfishing, and then in the food and beverage industry, fish restaurants at the same time opening. Do you cook for anyone in particular? Do we have anyone in particular in your life at this moment? Uh, no, you know, just been cooking meal for one <laughs> all year long. Yeah. As, aside from getting together with a friend, but uh, no. No dinner for one. And I must say, like I said earlier, <laughs> um, it's like one thing everyone should learn. If you can cook for yourself, you, could, you can get through so much. If you can know how to source your food, cook for yourself. Is there an online market that you have, David, for your, for your product that people can purchase? Or is it just in the farmer's market? So it's just in the farmer's market right now. I, uh, I'm still getting some of the products uh, labeled and certified and, uh, and working up to a website for them. Chef, do you consider yourself a lunatic? I've definitely, um, in my head, called myself something, if not that of the sort. I, uh, yeah, and, and I, yeah. It passes very quickly, fortunately, it's just not <laughs> that easy, right? And then I'm like, no, no, you got it all under control. It's like, no. It's good to question yourself in that way, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I, uh, like, am I making sense? Um, I think it's a good thing. Otherwise, wouldn't we be narcissists? 